Chewy and the Porgs, written by Kevin Shinnick. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, there was a planet so distant and so mysterious it was said to have been hidden among the stars. The planet is called Acto. And on this planet stands the very first Jedi Temple. Not many know of its existence, mostly just the caretakers of the island, and now you, of course. The only other being with knowledge of this mystical place is the man who crossed an entire galaxy to find it. Luke Skywalker, last of the Jedi Knights. But this is not his story. This is the story of the Porks, sweet and lovable creatures that inhabit Acto Island. The Porks have lived in peace and tranquility on the island for many years. Their sanctuary has remained undisturbed by anyone. Until now, the Millennium Falcon has arrived. One of the beings who exits the ship is covered in fur and unlike anything the Porgs have ever seen before. The young girl tells the furry one to stay with the ship. The Porgs overhear her refer to him as Chewy. They wonder if this means he is her food. They hope so, for they are very hungry and he appears to be bite-sized. This will take some investigating. Back inside the Millennium Falcon, the furry one, Chewbacca the Wookiee, and R2-D2, a small droid, are preparing the ship for the girl's return. Suddenly, the Falcon scanners detect nearby intruders. Could it be Minix? Probe droids? Chewie goes back to check out the situation. Lucky for the Porgs, their camouflaging abilities serve them well. But Chewie isn't fooled for long, and he definitely isn't bite-sized. One Porg isn't afraid of Wookiee's roar, but he is afraid of Wookiee's grumbling stomach. Wookiee fun fact number 17, Wookiees are always hungry, but poor Chewbacca has nothing to eat. The next day, Chewbacca sets out to find some food. Chewie is an excellent shot, but certain uninvited guests make concentrating difficult. He tries to search for berries, but all he finds are Actonian grubs. Wookie fun fact number 35, turns out Wookiees hate Actonian grubs. Chewie thinks back to the time when Ewoks devised a trap to capture him and his friends. He decides to build a trap of his own. This is not what Chewie intended. Next, Chewie tries his hand at fishing. He decides to use the disgusting grubs as bait, but doesn't get a nibble. Perhaps he should use more bait? Never mind. Better luck next time, Chewbacca. Chewie then decides to ask the locals for help, but he learns that fishing season is over and all the fish are gone. While Chewie is away, the Porgs decide to do a little exploring of their own. The Porgs have never seen so many flashing lights and shiny buttons before. Still, as hungry as ever, Chewie returns to the ship, only to find... A Porg party! Chewbacca has had enough. There must be food somewhere on the ship. Chewie desperately searches all the compartments until... Success! Chewie looks around and makes sure the coast is clear. And when it is, he gets ready to eat. Wookie fun fact number 77, nothing tastes better than warmly toasted blue puff. Cubes! Uh-oh. 
Chewbacca is not going to be happy about this. Poor Chewie, he just can't take it anymore. Then Chewie notices something. One of the Millennium Falcon's landing struts came down on the Porg's nest, crushing the food they stored for winter. No wonder they've been bothering him so much. Chewie gets an idea. He uses the Millennium Falcon sensors to scan the entire island. And when he finds what he's looking for, he calls to the Porgs to follow him. He leads them to a hidden lake that still contains fish. Chewie feels much better now that he understands the situation. After all, Wookiee fun fact number one, Wookiees have hearts of gold. Chewie and the Porgs enjoy their time together. They laugh, play, and feast. Chewie even learns a new way to play holoch chest. But all journeys must come to an end. New missions will take us to faraway places and teach us new things. And on this mission... Chewie learned a valuable lesson. There are some beings in this galaxy who arrive with questions and leave with answers, and there are those who arrive with nothing and leave with new friends. The End